yes, that one was almost rough. That one was rough. Okay, I almost lost my life there with this damn chair. Hello, my favorite people. What do we need to do today? We are doing episode three, I believe, of the Eurovision series. American React to Eurovision 2024 songs for the first time. In these episodes, we've been doing six songs, six countries every episode, and we have six more to do today. We're about, I'd say, almost halfway through all the entries. If I calculated it correctly, we have about five more episodes after this one until we've listened to all the songs and I can go ahead and rank them and put them in the final ranking that I think they're going to end up with in the semifinal. And then I'll make my predictions of who I think is going to win. Okay, let's get right into it. Subscribe when you're here. Make sure you like this video so you guys want me to keep doing more Eurovision content in the future. If you have not yet, the least you could do is follow your girl on Instagram. I give you all this content. The episodes are like 30 minutes to an hour every week. So, you know, go follow your girl. I really want to get to 15 count Instagram. So go do that. Check out the vlog channel. The Patreon is where I put up all the unedited reactions because obviously this is YouTube. I can't put up um, copyrighted stuff like that on YouTube. So if you want the unedited, unfiltered reaction to these songs, every episode goes up on Patreon before they come to YouTube. So go check that out. Without further ado though, let's get into the first country, which is San Marino with Megara 1111, which is a angel number, a lucky number. So I think this one's gonna be good vibes. Let's get into it. I can, ooh, the energy. I can already tell the swag is there, the energy. How are you gonna how are you gonna yawn, sir? Is your tie too tight that you can't breathe? There's no oxygen getting to that brain of yours, clearly. Because this is a great performance, it's a great song. People were telling me that my perception last week was actually wrong, which that reminds me we have to get into something a bit more serious, which is real quick by stance with Azerbaijan versus Israel. Now you guys know, I always say Israel can go to hell. Israel can burn before I root for them on Eurovision or anything else in the world. But people like, but favor, Azerbaijan is kind of doing the same thing to the Armenians. They, the Armenian and Azerbaijani history is completely different than the Israeli history. The Israeli people came over to the Middle East, Gaza, Jerusalem, and decided to take over and displace this group of people. The issue with Armenians and Azerbaijan, if I'm understanding it correctly, has been going back and forth, back and forth. The difference is the, Gaz the people of Gaza cannot defend themselves. They are women and children going up against an army, an army backed by other nations around the world. It's not the same at all. And to compare it is actually kind of disgusting. And in my opinion, a big reason of why I'm even doing Eurovision reactions is because of my ties to Azerbaijan. Like they're the main ones that got me interested and to made, made me stick around and keep reacting to Eurovision. So it's kind of like, I, there would be no favor reacting to Eurovision if there was no Azerbaijan. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a connection there. So it's not like I'm just, oh, favor's being a hypocrite. No, I'm not being a hypocrite. It's completely different. And I feel like people just use, at first I was an anti-Semite, now I'm a hypocrite. These are just people disguising the fact that they want me to side with Israel, which will never happen. Anyways, just had to address that real quick. That was a serious thing I wanted to talk about because people were saying in my comment section, well, you're a hypocrite. No, no. And you're not going to make me say I am just because you want me to defend Israel. Hell no. That. Uh, uh, uh. The onesies made me remember what I was going to say. So people were saying that it's actually a benefit to do something different besides dance pop this year because everyone's doing dance pop and electric music. So if you come with a ballad, if you come with a rock song, if you come with a folk song or a traditional sounding song, it's going to make people probably remember you more because everyone else is going to bleed together because everything kind of sounds the same. Like every entry is like a dance electric pop song. So if you have something different, it might actually be to your advantage. That is, that's a good, tr that's a gr true perspective to have. <laughs> So, if I understand this correctly, they're just trying anything that'll make these executives like them. They're just trying to like cater to whatever they think the executives will, you know, grab onto and sign them for. Oh my God. What did her 
leg. To, it said something about all hell on her leg. All hell. Oh no. It sounds a bop though, but we stand Jesus, man. <laughs> you should have signed him. You should have signed him. Now look at you. Ooh, ooh, if they come out with some choreographed tap dancing or something. At this point, give it, give the trophy to San Marino. You've got the rock, which Eurovision fans tend to love. You've got the different makeup, the, the, the persona that they have. They have the stage presence, the energy. Two, and now they're gonna give us dance. The song is good too, and this is a song contest. They, they have the full package. San Marino is coming with it this year. Balsa? Misfit, Wanas, Pose, Wild, Weird. She's like branded herself with Poser with a bunch of different labels. I feel like I'm watching a odd episode of American Horror Story. 11 11! WWE? Great, but who's who's gonna clean all this up? That's where. Do y'all hear that too? What's going on outside? Air Force One outside my window with their fighter jets. What the heck? Anyway, um, I don't know. What's the meaning behind this? Eleven, eleven. Everyone just wishes to get off work and have fun and party and live their life. I guess. Oh my. <laughs> they got the kids in it. I like that little dubstep moment at the end there. That was that was vibe. This one, ooh, perplexing. This one has the least amount of views I think out of every song though that we reacted to. So maybe maybe the uh, GM, the general public, was not messing with it. Dang, I liked it. It was a vibe. I love the the rock entries. But just a hell no. Damn, it flopped. Someone let me know why why is it not popping off? San Marino. They usually do really good. Um, next up after San Marino, though, we got Portugal with Eolanda's Grito. Oh, we've got a vocalist. Oh, you guys, we got a vocalist. We got a vocalist. We oh. The control, the tone of her voice is so nice. It's like sweet. Oh. Everything that I just said about San Marino, take it and apply it now to freaking Portugal. And they're doing the same shit. They got the dance, they got the voice, they got the song, they got the choreo, they got the visuals for the live performance. And this is live. That's the thing, this is live and she's doing this. So uh, it's different when it's a music video or a pre-recording or something like that. She's doing this live. I can't, oh my God, this is such a good year of music. Oh. God. Someone said that my style, because this is hitting where I like it to hit when it comes to my Eurovision taste, someone said that I usually tend to go for Balkan um, traditional or folk songs, Balkan music, like with the, it's not a whine, but it's like an emotional yell, like um, a ballad, I guess, like, a, like it comes from the soul, music like that, where it's like, ah! I love shit like that. And this is, it's, it's hitting that little itch in my brain. It sounds nice. Oh! Zay! 
all the only thing the only thing if on the live show she comes out here with a live orchestra it's over for all of you forget it cancel the show if she like the, we don't even need the finale if she is in the semi-final she comes out there with an orchestra behind her and the dancers it's over with even Laureen couldn't save the show. Give it to freaking Portugal. Like, imagine a bum, bum. My only critique is she's a bit stiff because she, obviously she wants to hit all the notes, which she's doing. Don't get me wrong. This girl's a vocalist. She's hitting all the notes. But she's doing it, she's so focused that she looks a bit tense. Like stiff, even. Like even she can't send it with the choreo because she wants to perfect the voice, which is what matters at the end of the day. But like, I wish she would maybe loosen up, take a few steps, dance around a little bit, you know? No, you're not just gonna stare into the camera while belting that big ass, gritty ass, raspy ass note and then just expect me to move on. Portugal, what's this sorcery? Genuinely. This is one of your best entries ever, I'd say. And I haven't even seen them all. <laughs> My goodness, I gotta give that a like just for the principle of it all. Okay, Portugal's in my fucking top five, bitch. That was amazing. That was phenomenal. That was like beautiful. That was powerful. Grito, Portugal, Iolanda. She's an icon. Next up, we have Poland with Luna slash the Tower. This one has 2.6 million views. This random spark now of the, the fiery, passionate color of red, and all the chess pieces change into red. She's getting tied up with the color red. The woman that she's playing across, which I'm assuming is her older, her older self, is in red. Okay, but how did we finish the game? The tower, yeah, great. But who won the, the last game? Or was the point that she just, she ended up finding herself? There was no resolution! Ugh. No, but I like the meaning of that one. Now, as for the song itself, I feel like it might get drowned out, honestly. Because I feel like we're so oversaturated with music like that this year that that one, there wasn't any like huge change of moments or like big notes or things that will like make people remember it. Like it was one of the same kind of, in my opinion, for Poland. No disrespect, but next up we got Norway. How many songs have we done? One, two, three. So we're halfway done. We have Norway, Netherlands, and Moldova left to get to. So let's do now um, Norway. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, she's just telling us the Norwegian story of Cinderella at this point. Disney, suit ass. No, no, no. She's for real telling us like a, a, a villain origin story or something. Like this is straight out of a Disney movie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ooh. Out of how many songs? We've done what? 6, 12, 18? 18 different songs now? We have two rock. Two rock entries. And I'm loving it. It was San Marino, right? I believe San Marino and now Norway. Two rock songs. But hers is better, I'm not gonna lie. The folkiness of it. Child endangerment. We don't stand. Oh my god. Even the way she sings or is saying the lyrics, it's so emotional and so in like there's so much depth. My brother's blood. They're on that fucking stage doing tricks with their damn instruments. Homie threw that guitar around his neck like a boomerang. These people are on some insane energy and I don't think the other people can even compare. Like I don't think they can even measure up if they wanted to. 
these are like the performers who like trust themselves and trust that their performance is going to be good. So they're ready to just do a wall stuff. And it's, it's coming through and it's that much more intimidating when they know that they're good. All of this feels so authentic. Oh my God. 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 Her solo is ascending. Mother just threw his guitar in the air. And that's a dark stage. How did he even catch it? Where's the lights? Y'all y'all are battling with superheroes. Night vision. They have superpowers. You don't stand a chance, is my point here. I, who's gonna win? Usually we there's at least like a top five, top ten, like obvious qualifiers. I couldn't even tell you who's gonna qualify this year, let alone who's gonna win the finale. Oh my god. Sheesh! I see you, guitar man. Y'all deserve that. That, it's always Norway. I was about to say, it gives the same energy as um, Lordi, but I'm pretty sure Lordi, Eurovision, what country? Finland. Okay, it's always them type of people. Finland, Sweden, um, Norway, whatever, Nova Scotia or some shit. I know that's a city, but you get my point. It's always them doing like the most and doing the best. My goodness, that was amazing. Kate was her name? Yeah, no, Gate, Gate. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Gate Olveham from Norway. I love that song. Oh my. Next up we have a song that has 17 million views. Jesus Christ. So y'all are really, you're, oh God. I love the Dutch. I've been to Utrecht. I've been to Amsterdam. Loved the vibes. Beautiful country. However, what the hell is this? Euro Papa? If this is another one of those give that wolf a banana type of songs, a gimmick, I might just delete my channel. Anyways, we've got the Netherlands Juiced Klein with Euro Papa, 17 million views. I think this is the most viewed performance or video from this year's entries that we've seen. So let's see why y'all are obsessed with this, 17 million. Euro, let's go together. I knew it. I called it before I even ha had the chance to listen to the song. I knew it was going to be one of these. The whole continent coming together. They're calling all the countries to their shindig. Oh God, here we go. Oh, the Game Boy. Oh, that's a little Game Boy. I love that. Vintage. It's crazy to think that's vintage now. Euro Papa. It's so crazy because like the things that y'all would fiend for, like this song, you would get clowned to hell and back for posting this in America. Like we would laugh you into oblivion. But over in Europe, stuff like this pops off. I'm not, I'm a little jealous. I am a little jealous of that, that y'all can just bippity boppity boo to different countries in the same continent. But that being said, Texas is like double the size of half of y'all. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I, I do wish though we had more neighboring countries besides just Canada and Mexico. Yeah, that's the life that I want to live. I am destined to be a traveler, an international traveler. I've been to Europe. I did the whole two month stay, summer stay. I need to go to other continents, but I definitely will be back one day. But yeah, this is the dream that I would live. Just pop in from country to country, destination to destination, traveling. I love that. Like, congrats to you. You can take a freaking bus, a little train from fucking Paris to Venice. You know where I can take a train to? Tulsa, Oklahoma to Dallas. And it's just full of crackheads. <laughs> Wait a minute. What if this whole time he's making fun of um, these come together ass songs and how they always do good? He just had 12 points. There's so much in whatever language. Is, like, I don't think we have many, I don't think we have any words that involve a in it. Car. 
It's just car. Interesting. And this is where I get confused with Eurovision though, because like it's a song contest, right? And obviously this is a fun, feel good, everyone can relate because you're all European like entry. But would you say that this song is better than a lot of the ones that we've heard before? Like it's surely more fun and more of a gimmick and more like you do you know, hee hee ha ha. But to give this person points over a, a, another country, right? Are we on? Are we on the same page here? Are you and me? Are we connected mentally? Is your third eye seeing my third eye? You know, like we're in agreement agreement that we can have fun and love the performance, but we're not actually giving them points, right? Azerbaijan better qualify. He did not just take the little New York City shuffle dance. He did not just, uh, he did. Welcome in Europa, Yoga! Ooh, ooh! Party, 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 party! Eh, eh, eh. Oh! Ah. Oh! At the end of the day, we were all At the end, they were all human beings. Well, how did we get here? We are the world, we are the children. I was just trying to party and now all of a sudden we're burning. And he's about to give us like some deep message. Okay, okay, let me hear it. That's a world without borders. No, that's kind of sad. Because at the end of the day, technically we all came from like one lineage and just diversified across different lands. And now it's like, I need to build a wall here. I got to keep you out of here. Like, why? We're, we live on the same planet. It's one planet. If something happened, a damn meteor decided to hit us like a little pebble, we'd all be gone. So why are we trying to be like, oh, you can't come here. You can't, let's fight each other for this resource. Let's, you know, give these people more money and kill each other over that. Like, it's so ridiculous. I love that. Not as that dying, the, the message. Europa, Europe's on fire. Is that the, to my parents? He listened to their their story. He listened to what they taught him growing up. I love that. We're, he sees everyone as equal. We're all just one person, one, one people. That was great, actually. Oh no, do I stand the Netherlands entry? Oh God, what if it wins? Honestly, I wouldn't even be mad about it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even be mad. That was nice, actually. Ugh. Okay, we've got one more song. Let's do it. This is Moldova in the Middle, Natalia Barbu. Another live performance. So why do they all look the exact same? Kind of off-putting, kind of creepy. We move on. Open your mind, just like a door. And they're like staring. That's the weird part. I don't know. Maybe it's not a thing over in Europe, but staring in America is just very, it's rude one, but it's also just uncomfortable. They, I don't think any of them have blinked since the performance started. Anyway. My beautiful angel, work of art, I don't know if they're supposed to be harmonizing, but they're not. They're not. All, all we hear is the main girl. But I do like the, again, the Balkan-esque, um, ballad-esque part of it. Right in the middle Raise your wings, don't be afraid of falling down She's not even singing for real. She's just mouthing the words. Who is singing? This Moldova. I want you to be happy. I want someone to tell me what the hell's going on.
No, like genuinely, I feel like the background dancers and singers are just there for show. Like they're just props there. I don't think their mics are even on. Ugh. Oh, let's get saucy then. Her vocals. She's a great vocalist. Okay, Moldova. I'm not gonna lie, half the time I was still like, what is happening? But at the end of the day, she has a great voice and pretty good control. I, I don't know what the other girls were there for though because they didn't do much. Yeah, um, this one, I'm like, this episode, I'm like 50-50 on the entries. Half of them I loved and then half of them I'm like, oh babe, you don't even compare to the other songs we've seen. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely thinking, like, this is going to be one of the hardest years for people to decide who to vote for and who the heck is going to win. I, I can't even predict at this point. Um, give me your top, out of all the countries that we re we've reacted to yet, if you haven't seen episodes one and two, go ahead and watch those. This is episode three. But out of all three episodes that we have done so far, what are your top five songs? Who are your top five countries? Let me know down below. Because I don't even know, like, how to narrow down, like, what the heck? Do I go for all pop people do i go for the rock girls and guys do i go for a ballad who do i go for do i rule for my azerbaijan how do they even compare we haven't even got to them yet so much is up in the air i hope you enjoy these reactions because i love doing them if you made it this far into the video comment favor we love your eurovision videos and i will heart your comment make sure you like this video too so i know you guys want me to keep doing more eurovision content in the future and again the unedited version of this video and all my eurovision videos will be over on the patreon which is linked down below and in the pinned comment and follow the instagram and lastly i will see you in the next video bye